it's Friday. What's up guys, welcome to another episode of uh, Coffee with Jaunt. I swear I have coffee this time. <laughs> Last time I was drinking some great, some great tap water. Thanks Michael and Katie. Before I start off, I want to thank, uh, I like there's like 50, 60 of you guys who watch this. I don't know if you guys come every week or not, or if it's just 50 random people. But if it's the same 50 people that come watch every single time, that's what's up. We're like a family on Fridays. We're like, you know, we're like hanging out, barbecues and stuff. <laughs> no, maybe not like a family. Like a, like a small graduating like class. Yeah, there you go. We'll go with that. In, there's gonna be a lot of angry Asian people if you don't fix that news. Boy Fong Foods, who makes sriracha, given 90 days now to uh, get rid of the orders from its plants. This is old news, but as of Wednesday night, uh, the city of Irwindale, where their uh, headquarters is stationed, um, they're basically given 90 days or else they have to shut it down. Um, I guess recently they just moved in that area two years ago, so like it's fairly new. The problem with the factory in that area is that residents who live in that area, they're also getting lots of strong odors, their eyes are starting to hurt, they're getting crazy coughs. But if they don't fix this, <laughs> but if they don't fix this, uh, you have lots of angry Asian people. I know we put this in everything, I put this in pizza, I put this in my noodles, I put this on my burgers sometimes, I put this on my chicken, I put this on, I just put this on everything. So I think they should really fix that problem. I don't know how they're going to do it, but you should probably get to it. Get to it. That rhymed. Gosh, I'm lame. <laughs> In prom dress news. So, uh, this is it. This is quite the story, guys. A California teen decided to sell brownies to fund her prom dress, right? And, uh, you know, that seems kind of normal, you know, selling the stuff to, uh, prom dress. I know prom dresses run pretty expensive. Um, I've heard of dresses being like a thousand to two thousand dollars, which I don't understand because you only wear it one night. Why wow, they're so expensive? You only use them for one night. So this girl, um, Ser Seria Munoz, I just totally botched her name. This girl wanted to go to prom but couldn't afford a dress. And so she was like, hey, let's, uh, let's cook up some ideas here. Cook up some, so like, let's uh, cook up some ideas here. And uh, so this 19 year old girl, she wanted to get a prom dress and she decided to sell weed brownies. I think that's where she up. Clever, but I think you could have been a little more clever. You probably could have found something better to sell. And uh, this is actually a big deal now because um, she actually had somebody else sell the brownies for her. Who was a minor? Uh, so yeah, so she hired another student to sell the brownies for her, and employing a minor to sell marijuana is a felony. So on Monday, the judge sentenced her to four years probation and nine days in jail, with credit for time served. Ouch! All that for a prom dress, really? Also, they're talking about she might get deported. That's a little extreme. Um. I don't know how I feel about that. I think that's a little far. I think she just kind of messed up. Some people aren't there all the way, you know. Probably wasn't the best idea to sell weed brownies. Yo, this coffee's dope, by the way. In asking Google news. So I know everybody does their fair share of, uh, you know, asking Google random stuff, you know, questions every day that we have. Uh, this 60 year old man, he asked Google if he should kill his wife. They found all this information about him asking on Google about August 2, 2013. Holy crap! So I didn't think you could ask I think you could ask some weird questions for Google, but this is something you just don't ask Google. And the fact that he needed to ask Google if he should murder his wife, that's crazy. The question that he asked Google was, when someone pisses you off, is it worth killing them? But this man, he was, he was, uh, he was mad because he just found out that his wife wanted to divorce him of nine years, and she was planning to, and he didn't know how to take this, and I guess he had anxiety problems and stuff. And he just could not cope, and 
so he asked Google if he should murder his wife. <sighs> Ultimately, he ended up hitting his wife 22 times in the head with a hammer. Stabbed himself 30 times a couple hours after killing his wife. Alright guys, that's all I got for this week. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, comment, share, do all that good stuff. Um, and most importantly, enjoy your Friday. And if you need a prom dress, you probably should sell a pot of Peace. I'm with the cup.